All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So a couple hours ago, Team Dokkaner decided to bless us with some great information about the upcoming celebrations on Global and JP, as well as the joint 350 million download celebration at the end of the month. Now, all of this stuff is through his Oh My Gotcha website. If you guys haven't heard of it or haven't checked it out yet, I'll put a link in my description down below. Make sure to go check it out for yourself. But uh, without further ado, let's jump into it and see what's coming up. Okay, so let me actually just quickly zoom in here so we can see the text. Oh, too much. Uh, okay, that's better. So it says here, as Dokkan Battle wraps up its fifth anniversary, of course, on the global side, Bandai Namco is busy preparing another major celebration, 350 million downloads. Now, of course, this is something that happens every single year. Last year, we had the 300 million downloads. The year before that, it was 250. The year before that, it was one, no, 200, and so on and so forth. Like every year at the end of August, Dokkan Battle associates the achievement of download levels with a series of global events. For gamers, the 350 million is the source of many questions. Here is some information about this grandiose celebration. Okay, so of course there's gonna be a bit of a wait before 350 million actually starts because it's at the end of the month. Right now we're at the beginning of the month, so there is gonna be some more stuff happening on Global and JP before you know the big celebration drops. And I know you guys saw the little head poking from the bottom of the screen, so here it is guys, transforming Kefla officially. I mean, it's not official until it's in the game, but like it's the opener, so it's pretty much confirmed that Kefla is gonna be the next banner on Global. She is gonna be the next celebration on Global. And uh, it says here, as of August 9th, we should welcome the announcement of the Kefla banner. The content should arrive around August 11th to resume mostly uh, what we already know. So it's gonna be, essentially identical to the JP celebration, which means that we will have a Dokkan Festival banner around August the 11th, so uh, in about five days from now. And then there's also going to be a story event for Universe 6, or a Universe 6 themed story event. Also going to be two levels for the never ending story. Might be a weird translation thing, but yeah, this is Infinite Dragon Ball History, two new stages, as well as of course the logging campaign, the special missions, and one thing he didn't mention here, which I'm pretty sure we have to get for the celebration, is the Extreme Z Awakenings for the Fizz Kale and AGL Khalifla. Unless, for some reason, Bandai's gonna leave it out because there's like not, a, not enough time or something like that, but I mean, this is the only time, it's the only celebration where it makes sense to drop the EZA. So I do think we're also gonna be getting the Extreme Z battle for the Kale and Khalifla, but uh, I guess not 100% because it doesn't say it here, but it should happen. And then we also should uh, be having some surprises as well, some new events that we've never seen on Global before, and that would be the Explosive Chain Battle event, as well as the new Extreme Super Battle Road. Now, I don't know if he means that this is going to be part of the Kefla celebration, or if it's going to be coming with the Download celebration. Probably the Kefla celebration since he's putting it in this section, but either way, Chain Battle and Extreme Super Battle Road are coming to global soon. So chain battle is kind of like that co-op nuking event where you like bring a team of your units, team of your um, friends, supporter units, and you try to do as much damage as possible. And uh, the higher you, or the more damage you do, the higher you rank and the better rewards you get from the event. And the extreme super battle road is essentially like a super hard version of mono type super battle road where the enemies are just much harder. You have to bring you know the same type units on your team, and uh, it's gonna be a fun challenge. I mean, a lot of people are probably not gonna be able to beat it, at least for the first little while, but I'm always down for harder content. As you guys know, I've complained about the game being a little bit too easy recently with uh, just the crazy OP units we've been getting. So uh, yeah, I'm excited for that. Chain battle, of course. Um, the mode, honestly, doesn't look like it's that fun to run. I could be wrong, but it seems a little bit lame just on paper or just, you know, watching it. But um, the rewards are really good. So, I mean, I'll, I'll take that for sure. And of course, uh, once we get a little bit closer to the celebration, once we get a little bit closer to the events coming out, I'll put out guides for you guys on how to, you know, do as best as you can on the chain battle event as well as the extreme super battle road event. 
And uh, he also says, be careful not to use all of your precious stones because, you know, the Okuner knows, man, it's a trap. Because he probably has some, I mean, he doesn't say it here, but he has some information about the upcoming Dual Dual Confest, I'm sure. Okay, it's the Okuner, so he must know something. He's probably just holding on to that information for now, but um, I, I don't even have to be Dokuner to tell you that the upcoming Dual Dokkan Fest for the download celebration is going to be, I mean the units, they're going to be insane. Alright, just based on how insanely broken the tech ultimate transforming or transforming ultimate Gohan is, these, these new LRs are going to be like all time busted. Okay, so yeah, be careful not to use all your precious stones. And then for the Japanese version, they're already, of course, on the Move Well and Play Well Dokkan Summer Campaign, where they got the Ultimate Gohan, but they're also going to be getting a Waifu banner, a Waifu Double Rates banner, uh, on August 13th, and uh, the campaign will end on August 21st for Japan. So, what is the theme for the 250 million download celebration? I'm sure a lot of you guys have predicted this already, and uh, it's, it's pretty obvious at this point, but he says, let's put an end to all the suspense. It's gonna be a Boo Saga themed celebration. Okay, it's gonna be Boo Saga themed for a while. I did still hold on to the hope that it was gonna be a GT themed celebration, just because I wanted a new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in Omega Shenron, but uh, I'm okay with this, man. This is cool. We're gonna get a Boo Saga themed celebration to follow the um, past couple of download celebrations where it was Namek Saga as well as uh, Cell Saga last year, right? So Namek, Cell, and then you know, Boo Saga this year. It makes all the sense, right? So it is gonna be a Boo Saga theme celebration once again. So no more need for speculation, no more need to debate this. It's just Boo Saga, that's just the facts. And then uh, from there, he also gives us some uh, dates. Now, these are not official dates, but they're probably gonna be pretty close for the uh, download celebration. There is a little disclaimer here that says these are estimates, not official, but like I said, should be pretty close. So on August 21st is the end of the Japanese summer celebration, and then on August 21st as well is the beginning of the countdown campaign. Like the previous year, we should have one week of teasing with a de dedicated bonus login to hype things up. Then on August 28th to the 29th, the first part of the 350 million download celebration will begin. The dual Dokkan Fest between the two LRs will be coming on August 31st. And then on August, or sorry, September 13th, part two of the celebration begins. And then two days later on, on September 15th, it's gonna be a legendary summon banner with, of course, a new non-Dokkan Fest LR. Now, next question, will there be a ticket banner? So I don't really think this was a question to uh, begin with, but in case anybody just wanted confirmation, yes, we are gonna be getting a download a celebration ticket banner and everybody will be getting tickets based on the number of stones they spent in the last year since the last download celebration and if you guys want a full breakdown of uh, exactly how many free tickets we can all expect to get um, on global at least then make sure to go check out my video from yesterday a link uh, above my head right there and uh, you can get to see you know if you're a free to play player and you got all the stones from last year, how many free to play tickets you can expect to get for this banner. And of course, for you know, pay to play players who buy stones, you can expect even more on top of that. But uh, yeah, check out the video. And uh, what else here? Yeah, so basically, yeah, one ticket for every 50 stones, and the tickets should be distributed at the beginning of part one. Now, next up, it says what content to expect. Now, he doesn't give us too many specific details, but he says the base of the celebration should remain relatively classic, so similar to previous years, with new levels of the Infinite Dragon Ball History stage, as well as Super Battle Road. We also should find several new story events, with farmable or free to play cards. And of course, there's gonna be a global versus JP campaign, which is a long standing tradition for these celebrations. Uh, after that, we have how many Dragon Stones can we expect to get? Now, I did actually make a breakdown video of this a couple days ago, so you guys can go check that out. But uh, essentially, he says here that because last year we got um, around a thousand Dragon Stones for the 300 million download celebration, we should definitely be expecting around the same. So Roughly a thousand, could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less, but around that number. So the short answer is a lot of stones, a lot of stones. Now, this part here at the bottom says 
Um, we did have a live stream last year for both Global and JP, but of course, given the state of the world right now, it might not be possible. I mean, I did really enjoy the live stream from last year, so I'm really hoping it happens again because it was really fun to watch with you guys. But I mean, if we don't get it, it should be fine. You know, it's still going to be a good celebration. It's just the live stream brought in a lot of hype and got people really excited, right? So. Uh, he says here that the response should be around August 17th, which I think means that uh, we should you know, get confirmation of whether or not a live stream happens around August 17th. Uh, next up, we have novelty. So is there going to be anything new, any new mechanics? And Team Dokener seems to think that there will be because that's kind of a tradition with download celebrations where they usually uh, introduce some kind of new mechanic. So for example, during the 250 million download celebration, we had the first units that had like five transformations and they would progress through the stages as they appeared each time, right? And of course that was the transforming Frieza and transforming Goku. And then last year, we had the first units with the exchange mechanic. So along the same lines, this year we should be getting some kind of a new mechanic for these upcoming units. Of course, I don't know what they are, but we should be getting something new, you know, just like the exchange mechanic and the multiple transformations, which is Kind of exciting and uh, also here global should be getting the update for version 4.11 fairly soon which is going to bring in the changes to some older links as well as the new link level system so that's really exciting it's probably going to be coming just before the countdown which is uh, a little bit later than i thought when i first saw it in the news but i guess it makes sense if you guys want to see my video breaking that stuff down uh, from yesterday feel free to go check it out once again through the link above my head. And lastly, he says, with the recent buffs, many expect the difficulty to be increased, but that remains very speculative for now. So no confirmation about harder events. Global is getting extreme super battle road, which uh, should give us a decent challenge for the time being. But uh, maybe during the 350 million download celebration, we'll be getting some even harder events, but uh, we'll have to see about that. Um, of course, the recent buffs he's referring to is stuff like the skill orb system as well as the link level system, which just makes a lot of units much, much stronger. So it would make sense for them to introduce some even more difficult content um, fairly soon, right? And that is pretty much it, guys, for this article, for Team Dokener's information. Uh, for the time being, he says, while waiting for the release of the next V-Jump, which would reveal some additional information, do not hesitate to leave your comments. What do you expect from the Dokkan 350 million download celebration? So before we go, I'm going to actually ask you guys the exact same question. What do you guys think is coming for the 350 million download celebration? And more importantly, what do you think the dual Dokkan Fest in part 1 is going to be? And what do you think the non Dokkan Fest DLR in part 2? it's gonna be okay so that's it guys that is today's video a big big shout out to team dokener once again and his oh my gotcha website link in the description for anybody that hasn't checked it out yet you really should because it's an amazing resource and uh that's where i'm gonna leave you guys off get hyped for the kefla banner on global and the waifu double rates banner on jp and then of course the download celebration We'll be here before we know it. So that's it, guys. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.